Okay. Hey guys, it's been Zaz. Welcome. <laughs> She's nasty, guys. I have that effect on people. Mm. Hey guys, it's Princess. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a very special guest. Maya. This is Maya. Okay. The lovely Maya. Yeah. You might, I feel like you've been in the background of one mm. of my videos. But I think Anne's one. Yeah, you were in the background of Anne's one, but you weren't actually in it. Yeah. So this is your, this my is your debut. Time. This is her first time. She's a virgin mm. to my channel. She's a yeah. virgin to Bill Burr. Never, never seen him. Never seen him. Mm. So this is going to be her first time exposed to the wonderful Bill Burr. Now, some people like him, some people don't. And I think that's the fun of it, you yeah. know, getting people's first time reactions. So let's just get into it. All right, thank you. Thanks a lot. How's it going? Great. It's nice to be here. I'm at that age where everybody I know is getting married. Let me ask you a question. Why the hell do people keep getting married? You know what I mean? Isn't anybody looking at the stats? You know what I mean, three out of four marriages go right down the shitter, right? If you were going skydiving and they told you three out of four parachutes weren't going to open, you'd be like, yo, fuck that, I'm not going. Those odds. I have a 75% chance of splatting on the ground. But there's something about getting married. People just have to do it, right? They're just like, is this the line to lose half my shit? Awesome. This is gonna be great. No, I'm just kidding. I love women. I'm just not compatible with them. No, they got too much energy for me. You notice that's it. They always have to be doing something. You know, like they can't like take a day off, you know? You can't have a day off when you have a girlfriend. They just like see that open day. They're like, oh my God, let's fucking fill it up with shit. <laughs> oh, they just come at you with like one horrible idea after another. They have the worst ideas. They do, you ever get to this one, they'll be like, you wanna go to brunch? You wanna go to brunch on Sunday? And inside you're like, fucking no! <laughs> You gotta keep her happy, right? I love going brunch. Brunch is like breakfast and lunch, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like when you eat at like. Like, like. At work? Afternoon, in the afternoon. Well, I've never had breakfast for lunch. As in to go out and have like a breakfast. Like, yeah. I'm gonna go like midday and have some toast. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean though? I think brunch yeah, is like. It's like. I don't know. Brunch is like. To be fair, I don't eat brunch. Mm. It's a weird. Thing. I just more like, oh, this is my breakfast, but it's at lunchtime. I wouldn't call it a brunch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I feel like he's more specifically talking about, like, do you want to go get brunch? Yeah, you know, like, when yeah, there's, yeah. like, there's, like, actual... There's brunch. actual brunch places. Yeah. Mm. But... I don't know. <laughs> we're, not, we're not brunch girlies, yeah. so we're not the people to ask. <laughs> you want to go to brunch on Sunday? <laughs> and inside you're like, fucking no! <laughs> You gotta keep her happy, right? So what do you do? You agree? Yeah, let's go to brunch. What a great idea. Why would you want to sleep in on a Sunday when you can go pay $52 for eggs? Now you're thinking. <laughs> then we can sit around and listen to your friends have moronic conversations about the eggs, you know, like, is that pesto? <laughs> is that pesto in your omelet? <laughs> oh, it's asparagus. It's asparagus. <laughs> I was dating this girl recently. She was like really into like women's issues, you know? Because women always go on TV, you know, they say all they want is be treated exactly like guys. But if you listen to them, they don't. All they want is the good shit of being a guy. They're cherry picking. They look at a guy's life like it's like a buffet, right? Like you just can start picking out stuff, like same amount an hour, we'll take some of that. Pay for the movie, fuck that. You can so he's like, like as women, we kind of cherry pick like what we want to you know how feminists would be like, oh, like we're equal to men, right? But he's kind of saying that like we, like women would kind of cherry pick like what we want to do, like you know, like pay for the meal, like pay for our meal type thing. Right. But 
the hard stuff and like the actual Keep it to them. That's yeah, what, right, do you know what I mean? Sense, like you open really, the door yeah. for me, I'm yeah. not doing that. Yeah. But then I still want to be equal to you. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So that's Absolutely. what he's kind of saying that women kind of cherry pick like right. Okay, I get that. What yeah. parts we kind of want? The good part, stuff. Yeah, yeah, the good stuff, stuff about being a man. Yeah. Right. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Well, I think obviously like. On a first date, the man usually does pay. Yeah, Second but date, technically maybe. that is a a double standard. It is a double standard. You know? It's like it's been so like ingrained in life. Yeah, it's just normal now, mm. which is not really good, I guess. Yeah. So would you pay for the first date? I mean, for my first date, I we got McDonald's, so I paid for McDonald's. Damn, Maya's a yeah. keeper. Mm. Maya's a keeper. She paid yeah. for her own food. I paid for my own food. She paid for her own food. Mm. Okay, but now. As in, well, it depends in the situation. Like, if it's like a McDonald's date or like Nando's, we yeah. just pay for ourselves. Oh, really? Yeah, only I mean, sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Mine goes 50 50. As in, what if it's like a big restaurant? Yeah. He'll offer to pay. Okay. Which I think is fine. Yeah. I think one time. But you I don't, paid, like, like, he doesn't, it's not a necessity that he has to pay. No, no, no. Yeah, okay, fine. I wouldn't be like, pay for this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Unless I'm running out of money, then maybe yeah. no, no, I wouldn't. Do Unless you're desperately in yeah. need, yeah. Mm. Oh, that's that's sweet. Mm -hmm. She's such a keeper, guys. Oh, she's okay. such a, she's such a good girl. Yeah. Bless her. Guys, life like it's like a buffet, right? Like you just can start picking out stuff. Like same amount an hour, we'll take some of that. Pay for the movie? Fuck that. You can keep that one. Like that one. This is nice. That's yucky. That's icky. Hey, come on, people. You can't choose. This girl gives me shit. She goes, well, why does a guy make more an hour to do the exact same job? I go, I'll tell you why. Because in the unlikely event that we're both on a Titanic and it starts to sink, for some fucked up reason, you get to leave with the kids and I have to stay. That's why I get the dollar more an hour. Oh, it's a dollar an hour surcharge. You hear a bump in the night, I gotta go check it out. Like, yes, he does have a knife. <laughs> Anytime there's a hostage situation, who do they negotiate for? Well, at least let the women and children go. Well, what about me? You think I want to stay in the vault? Those 20 other sweaty guys sharing a bag of peanuts, you know? Praying to God I'm not the hostage who gets dragged out by the psycho with a gun to my head as he's asking the cops for a helicopter, which I know he's not gonna get, right? I know he's not getting the helicopter. So now I gotta make idle conversation with the 38 to my head going, dude, go for a rent a car. I think you should go for the rent a car. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Where are all those feminists then? You can't find them. If you had no feminists in a house fire. You can take the most hardcore feminists, you know, some chick right in your face, you chauvinistic son of a bitch, you know? Little short, little haircut, you know? Second those flames break out, she'll twist those little hairs into pigtails. Oh, I'm just a girl. I want to go play jump rope. No, no that's why I hated that movie, the, uh, the Titanic. Every girl I meet thinks that movie's romantic. It's irritating. I think, that was really romantic, don't you think? It's like, no! It's a fucking horror film. And they're always like, why? I'm like, because all the guys die. <laughs> See, you're watching it, trying to relate, going, who would I be? You'd be that chick floating away in the big piece of luggage, right? <laughs> I'm watching it, going, who would I be? I'd be that dude when, like, the boat breaks in half, that dude who, like, falls straight down and bangs off the shit and goes in the water. <laughs> That's who I'd be. I'd be wearing a tuxedo, not because I wanted to, but you wanted to dress up that night, right? <laughs> I'd be falling... I'd be falling the whole way down going, I should have fucked that chicken first class. <laughs> Alright, listen, I'm out of time. You guys have a lot of fun. Thank you very much. You found that funny? Yeah. That was I that's actually one of my favourite Bill Birth bits in terms of like mm. quality of life. Because it's true, like obviously women do women should get to like be let off first. Oh for sure. Like I feel I like just, I see what I see what he means. We do have a lot of privileges Religions. in that sense mm. where it comes to like, you know, if there is a dangerous situation, no one's yeah. going to expect a woman to yeah. like. But he's right about the other thing about like, we like the easier stuff, women like the easier stuff. Oh, for sure. It's, it's like, just life. It's life. It's like, for example, like, you know, 
when it comes to like being men, you know, like all the really like hard jobs, mm. mainly men do those type of jobs, do you mm. know what I mean? Because women don't want to do that. Yeah, no, no. Do you I've never seen a female women. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's like, because we don't really want to do that and it's fine. Like, we should be able to live the it's soft life. Norm, though. What? Like, only, you only see male women. Yeah. yeah. So I understand why guys get thing, mad because they'll be like, why are women complaining? when like men are doing a lot of like the hard jobs like mm. the like the bin jobs yeah, you know yeah. like the the hard labor kind of job obviously there are women that do it but it's like, like even male construction like you only see men do yeah it. it's very male dominated mm. you know so it's like me it's like we want to be equal to men but we don't want to do the same mm. thing that men are mm. doing type of thing and it's like oh yeah we want to get so like bill was saying like oh we want to get paid the same, but like pay for the movie, nah, F that. Yeah. Like the man yeah, has to do yeah. it, do you know what I mean? So I completely understand well where Bill Burr is coming from. But even the part where he said at the beginning, marriage is like 75% like of a risk. He's married now. He's so. married? How <laughs> yeah. long has he been married for? Um, I don't know how long he's been married for, but he is married to a very beautiful woman called Nia. Oh. Yeah, so he's married. So this bit was Sorry, a bit old. I that, so, I mean, I guess he fell in love. Fell Maybe, in love. You never know if... Actually, no, I don't want to say that. What? Like, 75% he becomes part of 75%. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Maya! No, he won't, though. He right? won't, he, he won't. won't. Do you want to get married? Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, not right now. A bit too young. A bit too young. Not right now. I need to get married. I'm joking. You want to get married? No, not now. Not now. When Maybe, like... Married? Maybe, like... <laughs> I've seen people like calculate. They're like, oh, I want to be married by this. Like, yeah. Or baby by this age. But it's never going to work out that way. Mm. You know what? I can how can you plan? You can't. Like, I'm going to have sex on this. Like, my baby's been born here. And I'm going to have a second one here. And it's going to be this age. And it's going to be this. Yeah. it's going to be this colour, this height. Because people are like, literally like, oh no, I want like two years between my first child. Yeah. Time. But something like, let it happen. Let it, let it. When you have sex, you have sex. <laughs> <laughs> when it happens, it happens. I can't show this finish my parents now. Why? Because I said bitch. You're. Oh. Do you swear? What? No, it's not, mm, not really. Oh, sorry. It was fine. Oh. It's not, nothing's going to happen to you. The YouTube police okay, not going to happen to you. Okay, but I can't show my parents this. Because they were like, why don't you be in Princess's video? Yeah. No, I can't show, show, show them. I, you'll show them the, the other one that we're going to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where you're not going to swear. I'm not going to swear that one. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of maya oh, let me know <laughs> don't, be too mean. don't be mean they're not gonna honestly i don't think they'll be mean like let me know if you guys want to see her again let me know what you guys thought of this bit and what you thought of you know our thoughts about bill anything. about anything let us know let us know subscribe to my channel guys i'm almost at 14k what do they do what like <laughs> Smash the like button. Smash, Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Turn on my post notification. Join my Patreon. And guys, if you want to see me get to 14k, like just subscribe because I know you want to see me get to 14k. Like yeah. 14k. Like come mm. on, you it's might as well. Number. It's a big number. Big big number. Okay. So don't be don't be don't be mean and subscribe. Okay. Yeah. Look at the content I'm providing you with. So good. So good. <laughs> Bye guys. Love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah.